finally. Hopefully we get it by the time we get to the end of this field. Oh, we're getting closer, 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 closer. Damn it, no! Hey guys, it's Matt and I'm back here in Farming Simulator 17. Just down at the store picking up my new plow so I can plow that field that we harvested last episode. So I'll see you back at the farm when I'm getting some work done. So I'm here back at the farm plowing this here field. It's going pretty well. I'm just got the time on five times speed, waiting for that field over there to grow. So you know what? Let's speed this bad boy up again and see how that how long it takes that field to grow. Alright guys, so that field over there has grown one state, so let's go and fertilize. I'll get the old hired worker working on this. What worker have we got here? Worker C. Is it a man or a woman this time? It is a man. So worker C, you can be old worker Carl. Off you go Carl, do us some good work mate. Ah uh, yes, I remember doing this. We blocked ourselves in. Well, looks like we got some rearranging to do. No, no, trailer come back. Trailer come, oh, well, that, that didn't go well. Just pull him up here. There you go. I also like GPS because when you're doing field work like this, it's almost impossible to see where the edge of your spray line is. And GPS makes that super simple because it does it itself. And here we go, fertilizing the field. Nope, we're not fertilizing because I pressed the wrong button. I lowered the spreader instead of turning it on. Fertilize my friend, go. Alright, so we're coming up on the end of the field here. That's that job done. Turn the GPS off. We go put this here back in the shed. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is a little bit unorthodox, but I'm going to plant my crops whilst the field is still getting cultivated slash ploughed because I gotta get some work done. And well, it's gonna take quite a while if I wait for him to finish doing that at four meters. Uh, should we plant soybeans? Um, No, we bought the collector, so we're gonna plant something so we can collect something. Get the old GPS on. Uh, how do we do this like this? Auto wit, no offset. Move it over, there we go. Turn it on, off we go. And I think some fast forwarding is in order for this because that's what I like to do. Damn it, why did I forget about that? See, if you look here, missed a spot, and that's because it just does not like doing it at the automatic width. You have to reduce it a little bit. Go over about there. Now we shouldn't miss this little bit here which I hate doing. Oh, that's, that's the wrong combination of buttons. There we go, and off we go again. Alright, 
So I've decided that that woman there can take care of that and I'm going to go down here and do a bonus job for some extra coin. So this job is obviously going to be harvesting these soybeans here, but what piece of equipment are we going to get? Good, it is the biggest harvest, but that's not the biggest head. So we shall go again. That's still not the biggest head. There we go. That's what we want. 45 foot start this bad boy up unfold him don't hit the pipe on the tree and off we go and i speed this up as well um yep they're still working excellent cool um one thing i didn't think about is hopefully the cedar doesn't catch up to the plow because that will smell bad news smell bad news yeah smell bad news well we'll come to that problem if it arises now back to harvesting Hey guys, what's up? You getting some good work done? Looks like it. So yeah, I'm just passing by my workers here. They look like they're getting the job done nicely. And I very, very muchly underestimated the size of this field. It's like, oh, it's only a 45 minute time. You can usually do it in half. But half of 45 minutes is still like 25 minutes or 22 and a half minutes which is actually quite a lot of time. A lot more time than what it was going to take those people there to finish, which I didn't really think about. And my suspicions are correct that the voucher is going to finish and then get stuck at the end of the field because the worker doesn't know how to drive forwards. And then the cedar is going to get stuck and I am going to lose a lot of money. Oh, no, actually, I don't think I will lose money to the worker just sitting there because I think they will just leave. Hopefully that's what happens and I can correct that mistake once I finish doing this. And whilst that happens, I'm going to speed up the rest of the cutting of this here field. Yep, there we go. The old voucher has stopped at the end of the field over there. Hmm, wait, I'm gonna try and do a sneaky tactic. Go, 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 and... Ooh, made it. I'm not sure if I drove far enough forwards, but it's better than nothing. I guess we'll find out. Um, that was prob- oh wait, no, I'm going to do more because I can. Now back to this. Look at those skills, because that was such a tricky job to do. But yeah, that's done now. But I also noticed I missed that last bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the cedar do its thing, plow that bit on my own, and seed it again. Just whatever. And I'm not watching where I'm driving. Now, back to the super speed. like our CD is done over there excellent but still got three four more runs on this field here I really wish I hadn't done this but I feel obligated to finish because I've started it and it's in the video and it'll just make me look bad if I just quit so I'm gonna keep at it all right so we're closing in on the finishing of this job finally Hopefully we get it by the time we get to the end of this field. Oh, we're getting closer, 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 closer. Damn it, no. Oh well, we'll get it now. And then that will be this job done. Hopefully the payout is decent because this took a lot longer than I wanted it to take. It took two whole episodes. Well, it didn't actually, but you know, I'm just gonna say it did for the sake of it, all right. So I was nowhere near getting it done on that other run. Come on, tiny little bit more and done. 
No, done. No, now, now, now. Oh, come on, you damn get. Oh, there it is. So you got $29,000. Not sure if that was worth it, but oh well. Now to fix the little mishaps on this field and then fertilize it. All right, we'll move this guy out of the way and then use that one. Now this one run here and then run the cedar down it and all will be well. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother. How much is 10% of that tiny little strip going to affect? Nothing. Unnoticeable. So back to the shed with all of you. I'm not even gonna fix that bit. As much as I want to, I'm not gonna do it. You too, sir, can go back in the shed. All right, time to fertilize this here field. Uh, nah. No need for GPS. Watch me miss the edge of the field. Oh uh, yeah, pretty well missed it. There we go. See, you'll get to see how much I suck at this without the GPS. And then you will... Then... Ugh. Ah, good sentence. Then you will know why I use the GPS. See, you got to guess roughly how wide it is. I'm going to say about here. Hit the button and I have failed catastrophically at guessing how wide this thing actually is. Any better this time? Yes, that time was better. Oh, missed a bit. And there we go, that's this job done. What next? What shall we do? There isn't really much to do besides wait for the fields to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I've made an executive decision. This tipper here is going, going, going to be gotten rid of because dollies are not fun to drive. So off to the store. Bye bye, Mr. Trailer. You are horrible because you have a dolly and nobody likes that. Where's the dot? That's not the dot, that's the dot. Sell, later mate. And I'm gonna go park over here and buy us a decent tipper. Which tipper do I buy? This one or this one? This one here because as nice as this trailer is, it's just too big for the tractor we have and it looks kind of funny. So we'll go with this one. We'll set up wide tires. Let's spend the extra 400 bucks on some wide tires because I have no idea what they look like. Oh, so they're wide tires. I don't know what the regular tires look like. Even this tipper looks kind of big for this tractor, I think. It's not too bad, but that other one is just massive compared to this tractor and I don't really like that. Kind of annoying when you see people with this tiny little tractor and then a massive tipper on the back that will be very unrealistic not that I'm trying to play that realistic but you know I kind of like things to look nice and that doesn't really look nice so both of the fields have grown in that time so it's time to fertilize again get this here field fertilized and the other one straight after that now I know fertilizing in the dark is not really optimal but somebody's got to do it so I shall do it And that's the fertilizing just about done. And there we go. And on that note, I am going to end the episode. So thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.